Let's talk about Godzilla Menace 1. For me, Hollywood should learn from this Japanese film. The budget of the film is only $15 million, and Hollywood spends more than $200 million. Then what? Another garbage movie. This is the worst! <laughs> This movie shows that a good story can create the best Godzilla movie with only $15 million. Now, allow me to provide you with a brief overview of the storyline. What's the story? In the movie Godzilla Menace 1, Shikishima is a kamikaze pilot who lands his plane on Odo Island during the final days of World War II. While he is there, a gigantic creature that the locals call Godzilla attacks. Shikishima attempts to shoot the beast by climbing into his spider, but he freezes up and fails to do so. Later, when Godzilla attacks again, Shikishima manages to hold him off. However, after the monster destroys a portion of Tokyo with an atomic blast, Noda devises a plan to defeat the beast once and for all. What exactly did he say? He said Ford makes ugly little cars and we make them in an ugly factory. How Godzilla Minus crushed one Hollywood. I believe that after the Japanese watched the Godzilla movies, they decided to take the concept and improve it in their own way. And that's exactly what they did with their production, which cost $15 million. The resulting movie was amazing and could easily say it's better than the American Godzilla movies, which had much larger budgets. For example, the budgets for the other Godzilla MonsterVerse movies were as follows. Godzilla, 2014, $160 million. Godzilla, King of the Monsters, $170 million. And Godzilla vs. Kong, between $155 to $200 million. In my opinion, the Japanese version is the best movie in the MonsterVerse franchise so far. One thing that seems to be missing a lot in recent Hollywood monster movies is the lack of focus on conveying a message. The characters in these films are well written and shot in such a way that even if you were going to remove the monster itself, you will still have a good movie. However, according to Hollywood, if the monster disappears, the movie will end because there will be no message left to convey. On the other hand, in this particular film, the focus is on the struggles of a returning soldier who deals with the shame of not being a hero anymore. In this Japanese film, the message revolves around the idea of what it means to be a man in times of crisis. The pressure to be brave, make sacrifices, save and care for those around you is explored in this film. One of the most frustrating things about the Godzilla movies is that they always portray him as an anti-hero. The new movie, Menace One eliminates this anti-hero element and brings Godzilla back to his roots as a force of evil. Godzilla was originally created as a representation of the destruction caused by Japan's defeat in World War II, and though he's been portrayed in many different ways throughout his cinematic history, his main role has always been as a force of nature. Hollywood has abandoned this idea and turned him into an anti-hero. The only successful movie of all Godzilla movies is the 2014 Godzilla movie. The filmmakers used Godzilla sparingly, allowing the human characters to take center stage. This approach worked to some extent, as the writers made an effort to create interesting human characters. However, recent Godzilla films haven't followed the same approach and have relied heavily on the monster's appearance. This is because the writers lack the talent to create compelling human characters. One recent Godzilla film stands out because it effectively uses the presence of Godzilla to enhance the story. The movie is successful because the human characters are the strongest aspect of the film, which is something that Hollywood's interpretation of the franchise has struggled with. I think that many Hollywood movies tend to concentrate on these giant monsters, but in this Japanese film, the characters are well-developed. Even during the scenes where the Godzilla is absent, the movie remains amazing. Let me tell you more about these characters. I have a request and I hope you can help me. It's really hard when you put all your time and effort into something you love and it doesn't work. So I was hoping you could help me just post my video. If you can subscribe to my channel, click like and leave a comment. It will help me publish the video and it will reach other people and my dream will come true. Your support means a lot to me. The characters. 
The human story between the characters had me invested, even when the giant lizard wasn't on screen. That's a nice change from recent Monster Girls movies where I was fully enthralled during the monster scenes, but was checking my watch, waiting for Godzilla to come back during the human scenes. In this movie, I hadn't even noticed when Godzilla wasn't on screen because I was so into the human story character development. Throughout the story, Kochi undergoes significant character development, making him one of the best protagonists I've seen this year. Despite his flaws and traumatic experiences, he tries his best to move on and become a better person for his family, even though his past keeps haunting him. The protagonist is portrayed as someone who is struggling with his job and personal life. We see him having nightmares which are visually presented, and this helps to create empathy toward his character. Throughout the entire movie, we hope for him and his family to find peace. The Japanese have an unmatched creativity in creating sympathetic characters, unlike Hollywood, which primarily focuses on showcasing the power of Godzilla. Is it any week? I really enjoy this movie, so there's not much to criticize. However, there are a few things I noticed. Firstly, during the final battle, the outcome is quite predictable as it has been hinted at earlier in the movie. But even though it is predictable, it is still emotionally impactful and satisfying. Secondly, the fact that it is telegraphed means that it was set up properly, making the emotional payoff feel earned. Overall, the movie is well done, but some parts may be easy to predict due to the proper setup. I think that the most beautiful part when watching a movie is discussing the topic with other people. So tell me what you think about Godzilla. What you like about the movie, what you hate about the movie, and how much you get the film out of 10, I will tell you in my rate at the end of the video. Is it any good? 1. The perfect balance. The formula of building up tension and then releasing it is what makes monster films so thrilling. As the build-up progresses, a sense of dread and fear starts to creep in until it reaches a point where it feels unbearable. But just as you're about to lose your nerve, the perfect score swells, culminating in Godzilla's appearance. The music perfectly captures the essence of the anticipation and anxiety of this moment, like a force of nature that cannot be escaped or avoided. You're filled with absolute dread, terror, and sadness as the notes of sadness are added to the film, making it more personal than most Godzilla-type films. You can't help but feel for what's coming, and it just penetrates right into your heart. It's so well done. 2. The Emotional Weight The movie Godzilla is a great example of a film that can evoke a range of emotions such as fear of death, a desire to defeat the monster, and how love for one's family can inspire bravery in the face of danger. These are all very human feelings that the movie effectively captures. The film is visually stunning, and the writing is exceptionally well-crafted. It allows viewers to develop a connection with the protagonist, his situation, and the people he encounters. The impact of the narrative is deeply felt, shifting from the devastation of war to something that profoundly affects the character. Initially, I didn't anticipate the depth of this story, but as I watched it unfold, I found myself truly invested in the character's emotional journeys and experiences. I believe that Godzilla is a great film that truly captures the depth and complexity of human emotion. What is my rate? My message from this video, the big budget of the movie is not everything, and the most important factor for the success of any movie is writing, and the Japanese were creative in this subject. So my rating for the movie is 9 out of 10. Do not forget to tell me your rating out of 10, and also do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.